dang 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 da 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 dang 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 da 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 dang ooh rock lobster ooh rock lobster rock lobster oh lobster where are you going man come back here if you've heard of B-52 rock lobster thought I was old man you're probably even older than I am one day I will make my own mock and call it Tyler's illegal city something like that this is how I'm gonna catch your attention right now with this set yes Whoa, 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 don't leave yet. If you're new to this channel, or you've just come across this randomly, or if you don't know what you're doing and why you're here, look at this, because this is a Lego set, and this has convinced me when I bought it to jump over the edge and become a Lego fan for life. This is absolutely amazing. This is so cool. Look at the details on this sucker. So welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and speaking of Lego, yeah, so check these out. We got a deer, the pig. We got a red pocket here with a little bit of texture feel there. That is awesome. So these are from Lego Certified Store Hong Kong. Go follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Hashtag pick me up Scotty. Send me here. I want a red pocket. No, I'm just kidding. They actually gave these to me so I can start sending these out to you guys. But instead of sending to every single one of you, I can't support all you subscribers out there and fans. What I can do is if you've been ordering from us the last couple of weeks on brickmeupscotty.com, I've actually been sticking these inside and I will continue to do that until these run out. Yeah, so, you know, that's one of the perks. If you actually do buy from our store, you get one of these. And you never know, I might put something inside of these for you guys, huh? Yeah, maybe, hmm, let's see. So thank you so much for supporting the store. Let's jump back into this guy. So this is Lego's Ideas. Old fishing store, 21310, 2049 pieces, and this, has to be in my top five favorite builds of all time for Scotty, this one right here. If you don't have this, if you can still get your hands on it, go get it. You wanna buy it from us? I can go look for it for you guys, but you know, it might be cheaper just to go to a Lego store and find it. Hopefully it hasn't been discontinued yet, or is it going to be discontinued? If you can get it, get it while you can, because this is absolutely amazing. There are plenty of reviews and interviews about this set, but just to quickly run you through it, this was designed by a Lego fan named Robert Bontebo. Robert, I hope I said your last name right. And then it was passed on to an official Lego designer named Adam Grabowski, who kind of finalized and finished it off. And this is what you get. Other brands, you guys can learn from that. You need a designer and someone to make sure your sets are sturdy. Make your sets sturdy like this. In my opinion, this is near perfect, man. I can't even laugh or joke about this set. It's like so good. It looks run down, it looks old. It was so much fun to put together. You know what? We gotta just work our way from the outside and go in, yeah? So this is the front of the fishing store and boy, look at the details. Ooh, I, I, I don't know where to start, you guys. Okay, let's just start on the bottom here. Look at the wood textures, right? The tiles are kind of all over the place. Some are offset from others, like the staircase that you see here. I love the printing. I love the color of the wood. There's gonna be a lot of times I say love on the set because I genuinely fell in love with this. No words can describe it. So you have the offset awesome staircase, plenty of little studs there. You got lots of birds that come with a set. You come up these little steps and there's a tower here. It's kind of like a lookout tower. We'll come back to that, but look, it goes all the way around. I like the tires that are hanging down here. Yeah, so if you're gonna park your boat there, it won't hit the wall. Very nice indeed. So you got this old anchor that's just kind of hanging in there that you can just kind of put anywhere you want. But you know, it's up to you where you want to put that. It just kind of adds a little bit more flavor to the set. You know, you can move all these boxes around and shift everything around. It doesn't have to sit there. And they have so much stuff on the inside, you can scatter them everywhere. That makes this even more fun and actually very playable as well for kids. Amazing. Oh man, let's keep going on. We got some boxes with some see-through tile studs in there that look like ice. That is so cool. I really like that. You got some lobsters inside there, some fish, and you got more fish hanging on the walls. I love how they use the little pistols there. They're guns, but they're just like hooks to hold the fish up. And the set uses some stickers and of course some printing. Some of the woods are printed. So you got the front door there. It says open on it. Next to the door, you got two life boys there. I've been on this earth for 40 years and I've always thought that was like life buoy or something. I don't know why, life boy. That's how you pronounce it. Go save those minifigures. So the name of this old fishing store is called Anton's Bait Shop. And the name Anton comes from the Lego designer's son, Adam. That is an amazing idea. So to the left of the door, there's another tile there with a sticker on it that has opening times. That's a cool little sign. One of the best things about the set is how they use the flat tiles there and they put it against the wall and Oxford Block actually does that quite a lot. I love the beach cafe. It's kind of like 
in the same vein how they do that. And Oxford actually does that quite a lot. Go check out their videos in my playlist. Some of the one by twos are actually offset, like you can kind of twist them and it makes it even like it's falling apart. And that to me, it's a very, very cool, special touch. Look how interesting that looks. That is so cool. It's so busy. It's like non-stop, man. You got an empty barrel here and two steps that go up this door. Another sticker there that says, Gone Fishing. And you got the sign on the left here that says, Boat Rentals. The downside of the set, I wish it had a little boat that came with it. It would have just topped it off even more. I love the little fish above the door and the windows. And again, it's those flat tiles that really brings out the set. And then we come around to the back here. I totally dig how underneath they put the bricks first. That so kind of has a real structural feel and look to it. It's very like, like it's kind of like unfinished look, but it's so good. I think that's an air conditioning unit on the back. Does stand out, huh? They have some pipes coming out there, gauges, and they have a little faucet there. You probably wash your fish there. And you finally come to this corner back here. There's not too much going on, to be honest with you, like right here, it's flat. Now, this is kind of the thing that I talked about before. I kind of wish that they could have utilized this a bit more. It probably could have made the tower a little bit bigger. And that was kind of my one downer about the set. I and mean, this is like really nitpicking at this thing, right? I kind of wish they just made it bigger here and under here, and I'll explain why in a second. But other than that, it's still really, really cool. You got this box back here with some tools in it. And I guess the base plate is part of the sand. So you probably want to add more of your sea, ocean stuff around it, you know, expand on this and make it into a seaport. Yes. And finally here, we've seen a little bit of it, but you know, I love the rocks pushing up against there. It just looks fantastic. I got to just kind of sit back and look at this thing because I am still completely blown away. Let's take off the rooftop which is actually really easy to take off. Look, it's not even falling apart. It's really well built and put together. This is what I'm talking about. What a cool rooftop, man. So anyway, that comes off like that. And one more thing that's actually really, really cool too is the backside here. It's not like you don't know, you've probably seen this video already. Before, this opens up like so, or like that, yeah. Interesting, maybe they could have kept it one wall and open it would have been fine. I'm not quite sure why they wanted to keep it like that. And look at that. The details inside that is just like this mind blown. I always love to complain that sets that don't have too much detail inside. This one just kind of takes it over the top. I wish other sets would be like this. Let's look inside this bad boy because there's so much going on in here. First of all, it's all tiled. Yay, they even tiled the outside too, right? all the wood pieces. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. This is really crammed and small, yet it's tiled. And look how stunning it looks. Got a step that goes down to the back door area. Oh, I'm trying to still figure out where to even start. We'll look by the door. You got the compass map, more life boys there. And you got some fins on the very top here. That's just like extra accessories. And you got another water boy there that is dangling down. That is such an awesome decoration, man. I love that. And above the back door on the inside, you got two tiles there. This is a map. And I think we've actually seen those in other sets before. And you have another sticker there along the walls, a newspaper cutout. And it says, local hero catches every fish ever. That's pretty cool. You got an oar hanging up there and you got like a chain, a net and a white oar there hanging there. That's what I'm talking about, man. They're over the top. They're hanging stuff down on every single corner. You got the cash register there. It looks a little bit old school. That is a printing on there. And they got a tile on top. I'm not sure what that's trying to say or that's from another set. It looks like it's from another set. You got some drinks on there, some money, calculator and a little lamp. And look, they even put a couple studs in the inside so the minifigure can hang out there. It is kind of tight, or it's gonna be hard to put some minifigures there, but thank goodness that both sections do open up so you can kind of like reach in there. and um, shouldn't be too difficult. You got more oars in the back hanging up. Look at all the spear guns and the fishing rods. That is so cool in the little toolbox. And then we have some a treasure box here with some hooks, printed signs that say hooks on there. And inside you got some of your typical minifigure tools. Then you got the scuba gear here that hangs along the shelf. I really love that. I think that's actually a really cool idea. I like how they did that. And on the bottom floor, they just filled it to max. They didn't even have to put these boxes here. You can take these out. They just slide right out. We'll slide them out here. And you got dynamite. Guess you're gonna blow something up underwater. A life vest, some more fins, some scissors, hooks. I can tell you right now in the other sets, they put like maybe one or two things in boxes. And I absolutely, again, I'm gonna say it quite a lot. I love it. Got another barrel there in the corner with a spear, a couple of wrenches and some nets. And you got more TNT dynamite there. Go blow up some more stuff. 
A couple more fishing rods there on the corner and another red toolbox. You see what I mean? Ah, oh, slice of heaven right there. So good, man. Okay, so underneath the counter is one final piece of this room. It's a small little spider on a cobweb that's hiding underneath there. So now let's close this up. So again, with some more little bits of nitpicking, I'm just saying, right? I kind of wish they took advantage of underneath this thing because there's really no way to get under there unless you like pull off the set. It's such a wasted space of area. If they somehow could have like gotten in there, you could make under here kind of like a treasure cave or something, right? I wish it could come off. Let's look at this tower. They made it to look really run down because in the window you got a sticker there, like newspapers covering up the window. Someone doesn't want you to see inside. And I do like a little wheel right here. That is so cool, like a decoration that really, really fits and suits the look of this. So does this come off like a modular? Sure it does. Here we go, we can take it off. Yeah, and look at that. They designed it in a way so the rooftop can fit in there and it won't hit any of the flat tiles here. They move those out of the way. That is genius. Birdie, you keep getting knocked off. Put your back on here. You got what looks like the smallest office in the world. That's a little bit tight. They might have been able to make that a little bit bigger, but what do I know? I'm not the designer. They are. One chair, one desk, Lego news printed tile on there, and a ladder to go up. It is so tiny. But look, look you guys, smallest room in the world. Is it tiled? Yes, it's tiled. You know what I mean? Tile it, it looks really good like that. Birdie? Go away, man. You keep getting knocked off this thing. And unfortunately, it doesn't come off. I kind of wish this did come off on this platform so we can see under here. We can't see under there. I want to look inside what's under there. Okay, we're going to tear this thing apart and let you see what's inside. So just for you guys, I removed this piece here so you guys can kind of see inside there. Yeah, man, that's all wasted space that could have been utilized, I think, or something secret down there. You know, they even have a little tunnel there. That goes to that little spider. Would have been cool to see a secret passage. And then we move this to the side. And look at this. Very cool little lookout tower. Unfortunately, yeah, you can put a minifigure on both sides here and here, but it's kind of tight. Like I said, oh, just bigger is always better. Yes, it is to me. And the roof does come off, yeah. Look at that. It's only a ladder that can come up and you can only stand here. Maybe the minifigure can stand there by the window, open the window there, and use this telescope to look out. You can certainly move the telescope maybe closer to the window and be like looking through the window. Definitely cool that they have a telescope there. You got a seagull, you can place it anywhere you want. On both sides of the tower, you have a little bit of a crab decoration thing going on there. And then we got the rooftop. Yeah, let's talk about the rooftop. Okay, this is really small. There's not too much going on here. The colors is really cool. I love the little random patterns of colors that they use there. And you come up to here, and you got the chicken on top who's overlooking this tower. And that, my friends, is how you make a set. Look, Lego's newest pop-up book. Once upon a time, I'm just kidding, still, that's a really cool rooftop. Look at that. It even has a little lights there, yeah? I think those are lights. It's not even like moving, it's not falling apart. It's not like breaking off or anything. It's solid even though it's very thin. It is pretty secure. I like it so much. And I like how everything is like really offset. They put random pieces of wood everywhere. And you got plenty of places to put your seagulls. How amazing is that? Really, really cool. I love this rooftop. It sits nicely just like that without knocking this thing off. Yeah, like that. There, you see? I'm being super rough with this thing. I'm jiggling it, I'm pushing it, and nothing is falling. This thing is amazing! So of course the set wouldn't be complete without the minifigures. They're right here, hanging out on Emmett's house. I'm gonna pull them off. I'm showing to you guys right now. Yeah! So you got four minifigures and a cat. Oh, let's not forget the seagulls too. Of course, you gotta include the seagulls. Look at them seagulls, yeah. Good job, you guys. All right, let's look at these figures. I'm gonna go and name them from the last video, whoever commented in whatever random order. Here we go. This must be the fishing store owner. He looks kind of mean, but I like his sweater. I like his hat and I like his beard. Look at that scruffy old guy. It looks like he's been fishing for a very, very long time. And this is Mock Brick. You wanted to see more Lego sets? Here you go. Looking like you've caught too many fish in the sea. You got this guy who is the fisherman. It looks like he's out to get Jaws. I like his overalls. The printing is pretty cool on both sides. Wearing the burglar styled cap that we've come to know and see. And he looks a little bit happy. He looks tired though. Look at his eyes. He looks super, super tired. Anyway, that is my bricks. 
I'm glad you like the Ninjago sets. I can't wait for them to come out with even more sets. Then you got this lady. She looks like she's ready to go fishing too. Look at her vest, man. She's got all the hooks ready. There's printing on both sides. She looks really cool. And this is Isabel. Isabel. The Adventures of Scotty and Deer is only going to get even more confusing. But there you go. Then you got this little kid. What does he want to do? I don't know. Just kind of hanging out, right? WB, that's you. Good luck with your storage space, man. I'm struggling too. All right, you guys, it's dimension times. So here's a 32 by 32 base plate. We know that this is a 32 by 32, you know, but maybe you want to use a little bit of green. Here you go. There's a little bit of green. I don't have a blue one, but you know, at least you get a color combination idea. Let's check the height. For the height, break out your one by four bricks and stack them up together. We're gonna touch that little chicken right on the top and it is just about 35 bricks in height. Yeah, 35. For your reference, for the smaller rooftop here, it is about 20 bricks in height. Look at that, it just reaches 20 bricks there. So you can measure your space, see if you have enough room for this. And that is dimensions for you guys, all right. So here's the minifigures on the set. You got a little boy that I don't know what he's doing on the set, but he's probably playing with the lobster because that's what kids would do. Put a little cat there, chasing after the seagull there. Move that seagull down. The lady at the lookout tower looking out in the ocean for where she could fish. Got the guy going into the store. And maybe on the back here, I put the shop owner hanging out, throwing out some trash and all that good stuff. So there you guys go. Old fishing store from Lego. What do I think? This is easily a 10 out of 10. One of my favorite sets. Go out there and buy yours now because I said so. So until next time, you guys, break me out. You don't know how hard it is right now. I'm trying to make so much fun of the set and I can't do it. I can't find one single thing to laugh about the set. Ha 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 Dang. The more I think about building my own city in the studio, the more terrified I am. How long it'll take me to do. Rockin', rockin' and rollin' Down by the beach I'm strollin' But the seagulls poke at my head Not fun! Oh, you don't like that song? Man, I love that song. The poor fish hanging on the hook. That is animal cruelty. And the lobster is on ice. Poor lobsters! Sebastian, not you. Under the sea. Du -du. Under the sea. Du -du -du. Let's hope they never make a remake of that movie. If I'm not mistaken, the designer actually made extra extensions that are on Lego Ideas. I'm not sure. I hope they're approved. They definitely need to make the add on to this port, man. I need more. This is my drug, Lego. I can't stop it. Please, I need more. I can't take it anymore. Oh, what a lovely day, enjoying the fish, enjoying my coffee, here in the old fishing store. It's so pretty here. How are you doing down there, daughter? You okay? Daddy, I'm not so kid. I caught some fish. But you know, we have no more bait left. We need to find more bait, or else we'll have no fish for dinner. Oh no, that's not good. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna grab the money inside the store. And I'll go out to town and I'll get some bait for us. Son, what you doing up there? Daddy, Daddy, look at this seagull. I have no idea what it's doing. I wouldn't mess around with that seagull, son. Daddy, Daddy, help! It's attacking me. Get it off me! Get it off me! See, son, I told you, damn it! Hey, get over here, seagull. Get off my boy. Hey, eh? Daddy, is the seagull okay? He's made of plastic, he'll be fine, son. Anyway, you gotta watch the old fishing store while I go out. I need to find some bait and run out of food. Okay, Daddy, I'll be sure to watch it. Now, where did I put that thing? I need to find it. The store is so messy. No, it's not here. Oh, but I got cash. Okay, I'm gonna take this money to buy the bait. So much junk in here, seriously. How am I ever gonna find that thing? Where is it? Oh, I see it, it's right down there. Yeah, I got my outfit on. Uh, time to get the truck started up. Uh, I need to find my helmet though. Where is my helmet? Where can it possibly be? This place is so small and I still can't freaking find my helmet. Uh, maybe it's upstairs. I, I gotta climb up the smallest ladder I've ever seen that takes up the entire room. There's the helmet. Now we're talking. Son, you okay up here? Dad, we need some bait right now. There's so many fish in the ocean. We can't get them. All right, all right, all right. I'm on my way. Make sure those seagulls don't attack your brother, all right? Get them out of here. <coughs> oh, forgot I gotta fix up this car before I can go. Come on, hurry up. Ah, oh, there we go. 
all set to go. All right, guys, behave now. I'll be back. Oh, so that's your story, Mr. Truck Driver. I was wondering what you're trying to do. Have you found your bait? Well, I was on my way to find the bait, but when I found you guys, I suddenly took a wrong turn, too. You don't know how long I've been looking for bait. Most important thing is I help you guys out first. But maybe one day, you can come visit the old fishing store. You'll love the seafood there. Seafood? That sounds good to me, man. Could use some sushi right now. Anyway, I think the tires are just about ready to go on. They're all fixed up. Yeah, I want to go there, too. I want to swim with the fish in the ocean. Dear, get your butt over here and help me put these tires on. These things are huge. There we go. Okay, the tires are all on. It's time to get out of here, Scotty. We gotta go save those campers. I almost forgot about them. Yeah, you're right. All right, you guys, hang in there. We'll get to those campers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back later. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.